Hi guys, it's Jeremy uh, or JR and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're new or if you're not new, welcome back. I'm going to be talking about my mental health diagnosis. Uh, my diagnosis of schizoaffective disorder. So yeah, let's get started. So yes, I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. So schizoaffective disorder is a combination of schizophrenia and either bipolar disorder or major depressive disorder. I have um, major depressive disorder. So I was di they finally diagnosed me when I was like 16. So when all my my whole like bouts of mental health, all that kind of stuff started, I was about um, 13. I was going into uh, high school, like just as a freshman. Like I started uh, isolating myself from my my classmates. I started being really really depressed, not wanting to get up in the morning, and you know, like you know your 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 normal symptoms of depression, not wanting to do. So I played soccer in high school and middle school, not wanting to do stuff that I used to love doing. That was a very a big. That's a big red flag for depression is not wanting to do things that you really like to do. So I started to not want to do that kind of stuff. And then I started to hallucinate. But at the time, I didn't know that it, I was hallucinating. I thought it was just like intrusive thoughts that were going through my mind that were just talking to me, like my my thoughts that were just going in my, in my head. I thought it was just, just my thoughts. So I didn't realize that I was actually hallucinating at the time. And I was, as I look back, I know I was having visual hallucinations as well, but I just couldn't tell that they weren't hallucination because they looked so real. So I just wasn't aware that they were hallucinations at the time. So it was about, I want to say a month into ninth grade was when I I saw, I was watching TV and I saw this, this I don't remember what movie it was, but I saw this movie and this kid was hallucinating and he was in like some hospital or whatever. And I'm like, hmm. That's kind of like what I'm doing, like the, what's happening to me. I'm like, maybe I'm hallucinating. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm hallucinating. I'm having hallucinations. And so I went and told my parents and my parents went and called my, my, my doctor, my, my PCP, my, my, uh, pediatric doctor at the time because I was only 13, 13, 14 at the time. And they called my doctor. This was actually, it was like six o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night, I think. And they told me to go to the emergency room to get a psychiatric evaluation. So we went to the ER and I got evaluated and they suggested me to be admitted to a psychiatric hospital. So I was admitted to a psychiatric hospital for the first time at the age of like 13 or 14. So I was, I stayed there for a week. They started me on medications. I believe the first medication I was put on was ris Risperidone, ris Risperidone. I think that's how you say it. So I was there for a week. I was put on vacation and I was at I was dis discharged yep I was put on meds and discharged and about a week later I was admitted again because the meds weren't working and this went on for about a year in and out in and out in and out of the hospital I was in and out like every two weeks for like a year because none of the meds that I was put on was working and this went on for a long time and then I was finally put on this this like uh, miracle drug it's I'm on it's Clozaril, Clozapine. Clozaril is like a last resort drug only because of all the side effects and all the stuff you have to do with it you have to get blood work very frequently for it because of the side effects that it causes but it's like it's like a it's a miracle drug for some people because I was on like eight different medications and nothing was working so put on Clozaril work it's working I've been on it for eight years now and I'm great so I still have some hallucinations but I'm able to ignore them or deal with them a little bit better than I used to be and I know this the medication is helping and therapy and counseling and psychiatry all that all that stuff is helping me deal with my symptoms and the hallucinations and delusions and all that kind of stuff that I have. All this kind of stuff that I have set up for me right now is like seriously really helping. So I'm like in a really good place right now. So yeah, that's my, I guess, my diagnosis story. Yeah, I was finally diagnosed with 
schizoaffective when I was about 16 or 17 because I don't think they can like really diagnose you with that type of disorder until you're like 16, 17, 18, something like that because like I think your brain's still like changing and stuff until you're about that age for some, I think, I think that's what, but so, but like in the beginning I was like in and out, in and out, in and out of the hospital just because like nothing was working and then this medication I was put on changed everything and I've been out of the hospital for a while now. I'm in a, I'm in a good place with my job and I'm just doing good. I'm doing good overall. So yeah, that's my mental health diagnosis story, schizoaffective diagnosis story. If you liked it, if it gave you any ideas about um, your diagnosis story, if it gave you any insight or anything like that, comment or whatever. <laughs> so like this video, please subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Stay safe. Bye.